How was Fan Lu impacted by the events of the Civil War? In this lesson, you will learn how to analyze character development by describing how events affect the character. Let's review what it means to shape a character. In a biography, the person or character that the text focuses on often goes through a series of events that cause change in behavior or personality. As a reader, we want to infer what the character or person was like at the beginning of the text. Then we want to carefully analyze the influential or important events that caused a change. And last, we want to think about how these events made them different from our first ideas about this person. To analyze how events shape or cause change in a character, we need to first identify an influential event. Second, ask yourself, how does this Im event impact or cause change in the character? And then third, write a description of the character. Let's begin by identifying an influential event. On page four of the article, we read about a very influential event in Van Loo's life in the last two paragraphs. It's influential because it tells me how Van Loo was changed as a result of her actions during the Civil War. As I read these paragraphs, I'm going to highlight key words and phrases about this influential event that will help me identify the change in Van Loo. Her fellow Richmonders couldn't forgive her. She wrote, I am held in contempt and scorn by the narrow-minded men and women of my city for my loyalty, socially living as utterly alone, in the city of my birth as if I spoke a different language. Her difficulty slightly improved after Grant became president in 1869 and appointed her postmaster of Richmond, a position she held for eight years. But when Rutherford B. Hayes took office as president, Van Loo lost her job and had almost no one to turn to for help. So these paragraphs tell me that the people of Richmond did not treat her very kindly after the war. They were just generally ignoring her. So I can infer that being treated as a social outcast by the people she had lived around her whole life is an influential event in her life because it shows the consequences of her actions as a spy for the Union. The sad tone of the quote from Van Loo also tells me that she was feeling the consequences of her actions, and these actions eventually left her without a source of income and no one to help her. The word that comes to mind to describe Van Loo's character here is forlorn, which means someone who is extremely sad, abandoned, or lonely. This word comes to mind from the claim that Limeberry makes when she says that the people of Richmond couldn't forgive her and the sad tone of Van Loo's quote when she says that she was utterly alone. These two things help me to visualize her feelings of being ignored by the people she lived near. Just imagine going to school day in and day out and no one ever talking to you or just giving you mean looks. I'm sure that's how Van Loo was probably treated. I also chose this word because the author tells me that after losing her job, she had absolutely no one to help her. I envision that she was probably feeling very scared and worried that she wouldn't be able to feed herself or buy other necessities. Now, let's ask, how does this event impact the character? Because of her activities as a nurse and a spy for the Union Army, Van Loo is put into a difficult social and economic situation. She lives in a city of people that treat her as an outcast. So, when I think about the impact of being a social outcast, it tells me that she has no one to help her in her greatest hour of need, and she's probably feeling forlorn or extremely sad and abandoned. The impact of being treated so badly comes through the quote that the author includes directly from Van Loo. And this quote tells me that she feels the weight of her decision to be a spy for the Union every single day of her life. She knows that she can't turn to the people of Richmond for help even though she grew up there. I'm going to make a note about this on a sticky note. The impact of being a social outcast is that Van Loo can no longer enjoy being a part of the society she grew up in and her options for monetary sources are limited. Now, let's write a description of Van Loo. 
Elizabeth Van Loo begins to feel the effects of her choice to be a Union spy almost from the moment she decides to visit Libby Prison and volunteers as a nurse. It begins with her being threatened by the very people that she grew up around. But instead of being defeated, she became determined. So I'm going to write that on a sticky note. By the end of the war, Van Loo's character can best be described as forlorn. She felt sad, lonely, and abandoned because the other people of Richmond ostracized her from society as a result of her spy activities for the opposing force. Now, let's use this description to answer our question. How was Van Loo impacted by the events of the Civil War? At the beginning of this article, we read about a strong, determined woman of wealth and position in society who, because of her strong convictions about slavery and secession, begins to help the Union cause by volunteering as a nurse in some of the worst prisons at that time. The impact of that decision comes in the form of being threatened by the very townspeople she grew up around. This leads her to use her position as a nurse to become a spy for the Union. Because of her successes as a spy for the Union and not the Confederacy, Van Loo became an outcast in her own town. Let's continue. She was no longer treated with respect and was forlorn or felt lonely and abandoned by the very people she had known her whole life. Her Union contacts didn't forget about her contributions to the war effort because Grant gave her, a woman, the position of the Richmond Postmaster. However, due to other circumstances, she was removed from the position and left without any help. Her choice to be a spy came at a great personal cost, the loss of wealth and, so and social status, two things she had enjoyed prior to the war. Remember, to infer how a character is changed due to the events that surround them, you need to first identify an influential event. Second, ask yourself, how does this event impact the character? And third, write a description of the character. In this lesson, you have learned how to analyze character development by describing how events affect the character.